Well, hello and welcome to Beyond the Airwaves 2. I've um, got a packed show for you tonight. Um, on in a few minutes will be my good friend and regular guest, Karis, and she's going to regale us with a set of her unique folk music. Uh, usually, Karis would feature later with me, um, but we're giving her the evening off after her set tonight because she's had a very busy week. I'm sure she'll mention a busy, very busy month, actually, doing theatre and all sorts of things, which I'm sure she'll tell you about. Um, at around 8.30, my good friend Stefan Whitlam will be on stage um, to present you with a, a set of his electronic music. And then at some point around 9.15, I will join him and we will be doing a set of, again, improvised, very improvised um, music till around about 10 o'clock if all things go well. And then I'll finish the evening off with a short half hour set. Um, in between each of those sets, there's gonna be a five minute break-ish um, because the cameras have to be repositioned. Um, and a reminder, if you're watching on YouTube, if you'd like to donate via the, um, the donate button, which I believe is on the, uh, on the screen, then please do, every little helps. Without any further ado, please welcome Karis. Hello. Hello. So, um, as last time, gosh, this is quite echo when we speak, isn't it? You don't notice when I'm singing, I promise. So, as with last time, I'm doing some tracks with um, backings and some without. And this first one is with backings. And if you've heard my first album, Different Kind of Normal, this will be somewhat familiar, I hope. beginning, where the dreams, then out of the dreams, poured imagination, from imagination came mystery, and then
dreams because how better to start the evening than an almost nine minute long prog folk track um, and now for something completely different which if you were at the last live stream you'll be used to me saying by now um, so this one is off a brand new EP it's so brand new that the official release date is actually the 19th of August um, but those of you who um, actually let me backtrack a little bit um, my hair's blue. You've probably noticed. That's not really normal for me. Um, my hair is blue because last week I played Ariel in The Tempest with Very Theatre Workshop. Um, and um, that's not actually strictly relevant to the EP, but the fact was if you were there last week, you would have seen the EP on sale. Yes, that's where I was going with that one. That's okay. Good, we saved that one. It's all right. So anyway, this is, this is one of the new EP, and the new EP is somewhat different to what I've done before because it's classical. Um, some of you know I am classically trained. Actually, shut up, Kara, so you won't get all the songs in. Just shut up and sing the plot, yeah. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. I don't need to tell you that this one's going to be completely different, do I? What I do need is a drink of water. So I've been doing a lot of songwriting this year. Um, I start off the year with a five-day challenge, which sounds exactly what it sounds like. You try and write a song for five days. Then I did a 10-week songwriting course with a fantastic lady called Rosie Bands, part of who runs the Radical Songwriting Academy. And then she did a challenge about six weeks ago, which was titled, Write 20 Songs in a Day. I didn't write 20 songs in a day. I wrote 13, which I was quite pleased about. And this is one of them. And this comes from, it was inspired by a walk at Martlesham Creek early spring this year. And um, it's quite loud, this one, by the way. Fox on the marsh running free, fox on the marsh in the sunrise, fox on the marsh going hunting with the tide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. fox on the marsh running free, fox on the marsh in the morning, fox on the marsh going hunting in the wild. Where do you go? What can you see? How does it feel to be so free? I want to know. Running free, fox on the marsh in the noonday, fox on the marsh. Do you hear the girl who's cry? Ooh, fox on the marsh, running free, fox on the marsh in the evening, fox on the marsh. See the heron as she flies. Where do you go? What can you see? How does it feel to be so free? After sunset, fox on the marsh with the stars wink in the sky. Ooh, fox on the marsh running free. Fox on the marsh in the moonlight. Fox on the marsh is your vixen standing by. Hunt through the fields, run through the reeds, past the bushes, past the trees. Run like the wind, red coat is shine. Take me with you, Renardine. Fox on the marsh running free, fox on the marsh in the sunrise, fox on the marsh going hunting with the tide. Ooh, fox on the marsh running free, fox on the marsh in the morning, fox on the marsh going hunting in the wild. Thank you. The task is in a bit of a rest for a moment now. Shall I put it down? I'll put it down, actually. My shoulder can have a rest as well. Okay, so um, this is the first song I ever wrote uh, 17 years ago. And it was the opening track on my first album. And. Um, Called Siren Call. Beyond the darkness of the waves, beneath the cold, clear moon, in dead of night, you hear me, the yearning in my tune. You hear the whispered promise, I hold your heart's desire. The moment you first heard me, the flame of passion's fire. The one you not to heed me, the magic of my song. The sailors say I'm evil, how can I call them wrong? Enchanting all who hear me, a thousand lives I've claimed. 
Ships torn to pieces on the rocks, their souls and bodies maimed. Yet still you seek to find me, enchanted by my song. You stood alone on golden shores, all sense and reason gone. I weep for all your family, the ancient morning tune. Yet lure you onwards as I sing the ages of the moon. So come to me across the waves beneath the cold clear moon. In that of night discover the curse within my tune. No man resists the siren call too late now to be saved. So love me as your heart desires. Then sleep beneath the waves. So this is one from my second album. It's a little bit early to sing. This is actually a song about the harvest. Um, but I'm hoping there's going to be backing to this one as well. Um, I should probably mention that the previous backing track featured all of the Dream Team, who um, you probably know as Sophie on general chatting to people in moderation, Sue on switching between cameras and various other things, and Mim on lighting, and obviously it featured David very heavily as well. Um, and this one features Sophie on whistles, I believe. At least the backing track does. <laughs> Biographical song I will ever write. <laughs> this is the title track of my first album, which those in the live audience will see it was called A Different Kind of Normal. And the title that this song is called 13. Because obviously, if they had the same name, that would actually be normal. 
Um, and my own private joke with myself that only one person ever got was 13 is the eighth track on the album. My birthday's the 13th of August. And I always thought that was really cool. And only one person ever got it, and that was an American friend. Speaking of American friends, hello, Susan, if you're watching. I imagine you are. So, without further ado, um, I've just forgotten how to make a chord, so bear with me. Um, I, should, I should explain. Um, those of you who don't already know, I have Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism. And one of the ways it manifests in me is lack of muscle memory. Um, and suddenly going, hang on, how do I make a D chord? I'm not even convinced I've got this right. I'm just going to stare at it for a minute. Um, Soph, is that correct? Um, Marvellous. If at any point I get too professional, you will let me know, won't you? Okay, we'll just... Um, D. Yeah, that's the one. In D. It's capo one, it's an E flat. going to be singing this evening. Instead, I'm introducing you to one of his friends. Note friends, not family. This is not a song about a pirate cat. This is, however, for most of you, a completely new song. So I hope you enjoy it. Here's another story of a pirate brave and bold A clever double agent who is worth his weight in gold Aboard the Jolly William he flies from Mars to Old Barrett the Parrot A speckled egg was rescued from the ground beneath the tree 
fallen from a nest up in the forest canopy. We patched in a pirate's pocket as they sailed back out to sea. Barrett the parrot. This chick became the mascot and the darling of the crew. Fed on fruits and vegetables he picked out of the stew. On this delicious diet his green feathers grew and grew. Barrett the parrot, eating a carrot. Now Barrett likes the pirate life of flying wild and free. But he also likes to study for a learned bird is he. He reads the captain's log and studies maths and history. Barrett the parrot, grammatically accurate. And he's learned to speak six languages from Spanish to Creole. He acts as ship's translator when it trades the pirate's goal. Rewarded with a mango or some whiskey for his role. Barrett the parrot. For he likes the finer things a cultured pirate might prefer. When it comes to beer and liquor, he is quite the connoisseur. And if you are for wine, he'll tell you which one he'd prefer. Barrett the parrot, drinking his claret. Now Barrett's claim begun that. Shall I do the right verse next? It's a trouble when there's 14 verses in a song, you occasionally get them mixed up. But in learning information, Barrett's dashing, brave and bold. He flies to other ships and finds out where they keep their gold. For who'd suspect a parrot strolling down into their hold? Barrett the parrot. Now Barrett's fame began to spread and he was recognized by the lookout on the governor's ship while he was occupied. With counting gold and coins, the sailors took him by surprise. Barrett the parrot. They sailed into Port Royal and their Barrett's troubles grew. The governor locked him up and said, it's prison now for you. But to make a suit a parrot, we will send you to the zoo. Barrett the parrot, shut in a garret. He lamented his bad luck and wondered how to get away. There were iron bars at the windows and the guard outside all day. If only he'd paid more attention spying yesterday. Barrett the parrot. Now another famous pirate crew had just arrived in town. Upon the boatswain's shoulder came a feline of renown. Max the pirate cat looked up and saw his feathered friend look down. Barrett the parrot. Now you may have heard that birds and cats are mortal enemies. But Max and Barrett shared a lot of happy memories. And there's honor among pirates, not to mention expertise. Barrett the parrot. The pirates climbed upon the roof and set the straw on fire. The garret heated up and the guards started to perspire. A gaping hole burned through until the stars they could admire. Barrett the parrot escaped from the garret. As Barrett flew out through the roof to thunderous applause He saw a shiny treasure and he snatched it with his claws An earring made of gold he gave to Max for his reward Barrett the parrot, 24 carat Cat and bird and pirates quickly left Port Royal Town Signalled the jolly William that Barrett had been found Then they all enjoyed the wine and milk and rum of great renown End of the narrative. <laughs> From an unreleased one to a much more sensible one. From my second album. Yes, this was yes, this was from Wolf Song. Um, this used to be a traditional song until I got hold of it. Nonetheless, you might recognize some of it. Um, in um, Fox on the Marsh earlier, I mentioned Rainadine, which is a traditional name for a fox, and that is the title of this one.
so sweet as wine And you smile to gaze upon her To that sly boot renewed My innocence will charm you From your castle wild Seduce her She said, can sir be civil, my company forsake, for it is in my own opinion, I fear you are awake, and if my parents they did know, my life they would destroy. She's creature Don't let your family know For if they do They'll ruin me And prove my overthrow The only sound To pass my lips Be known but ragged You need the silken sky where fox and air run free. But I may never be your love, so close your heart to me. Beauty so enticed me, I could not pass it by. So with sweet my teeth, I will guard you all on the mountains high. And if by chance you should look for me, perhaps you'll not be far. Thank you. So um, this is my last one. It's um, it's one I usually like to finish with. I can't. I genuinely can't remember if I ended the last one of these with this one or not. I don't think I did. Um, anyway, absolutely everything that happens in this song is a true story, 
And the um, guest vocalist at the end is Frey Cat, so listen out for him. <laughs> Take a break now. Did you hear him? <laughs> All right, and welcome to the second part of the show. And uh, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce a very good friend of mine, very talented synth man, and he's going to regale you with a set of his unique electronic music. Please welcome Mr. Stefan Whitland.
thank you very much. interesting to note that the only part of the organ that has not been modified is the front. The front pipes were made actually in the hall, constructed in the arena, and lifted into place one by one because they couldn't be transported from Prince's workshop. miscalculated the cubic size of the building.
the scales of pipes.
Thank you.
Stefan. Hello.
Stefan, Stefan Whitland. Welcome back, folks, and we'd like to continue, Stefan and I, with uh, something which, uh, well, this is very much a first time. <laughs> okay, this is inductive hypnosis.
you had to have the last word. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, sorry, just making sure. Right, and we're going to continue with um, Strange Magic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Indeed, 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 it is indeed. Good old country. Okay, then. Um, right. Uh,
Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, a quick two minute break. Well done, Stefan. That's cool, actually. Uh, welcome back for the very last segment of the show. And uh, this is a one off track. Again, a lot of improvisation um, with some backing sequences. This is Sleeper at the Gates of Dawn. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> and that's it, folks. Um, we hope you have all enjoyed it. Um, those of you here, thank you very much for coming. Those of you watching at home, thank you very much. I'd like to say a few thank yous quickly before I finish. I'll refer to my notes because memory will not retain. Um, my guests, as always, Karis, obviously Karis, regular guest, uh, Stefan, um, and uh, the Dream Team, Soph Sue Mim. Thank you very much once again for uh, all your efforts. Uh, Graham and Dave, obviously, thank you for the camera work. And uh, Elaine, thank you for all your hard work behind the scenes for AD and feeding us and sorting us out today. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 big round of applause for Elaine. Um, yes, yeah, so the next one is uh, October the, the next Beyond the Airways event will be October the 28th. Um, and as I said earlier, we will notify Karis and I will be here. Um, with a guest. Uh, oh, thanks to Adrian. Sorry, I nearly forgot. Thanks to Adrian. <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, the external sorting of things out and making things happen. And obviously the venue, John, and I'm not sure who's behind the bar tonight, but whoever you are, I know it's not John. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, if, if you've enjoyed it, please do... Um, Please do donate via via uh, the PayPal thing, which is on the holding page. Um, but from me, David Wright, my guest, Karis, and Stefan Whitlern, and everyone here, wishing you good night. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.